All right, so I bought a bunch of pennies from the bank. They give me a dime box and a regular penny box. Um, as you can see, they're not exactly perfect, but they had to put a bunch of trays in the box, and I just threw the pennies in the boxes. So I got $35 worth of pennies. I had to give them $35 worth of pennies. So I had to give up my 2020 D box because there's some kind of shortage or something like that. So I figured I might as well get some, hopefully get some good pennies. Before I start, I wanted to show you my setup here as Matt from Rob Finds Treasure. And I got my penny books here. This, this one has two from the other day. And I have no pennies in there, so I'll be able to fill up my books, hopefully. On my first roll, I found a 1936 Denver. That's awesome. This is the oldest penny I've ever found. I think. At least in coin hole run. Coin roll hunting. I keep saying that. I don't know why. I'm on my fourth roll here, and it looks like an interesting ender. I don't know what exactly it is, what year it is or anything, but that's it just looked interesting. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 1969D. It's just corroded. Okay. I have not flipped it over, but look at that amazing looking wheat penny that I just found. I was just going through and I, I wouldn't have imagined it being that shiny. Let's see. 1956D. That is an amazing find. Cannot believe it. it looks like a brand new penny. Wow. So there's that 1956D. I realized that there is a D over D shadow D, and I just looped it and I did not see it, unfortunately. But still, I cannot believe how nice that looks. Okay, so I just grabbed a random roll here and I have a wheat scent ender so at least I have I know that I have at least four that's awesome and then I have so far six Canadians uh, two 2009s and then some of them that I'm gonna check they're just like 2000 what 2008 just to see what I have in my penny box to see which one looks better. That 85 looks pretty good too. So there was the wheat set ender 1957D. Awesome. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Same exact roll and I found another. Nineteen fifty eight D. That's interesting. Hang on, fifty six, fifty seven, and now fifty eight. All Denver. That's interesting. There is no way. I am in the same exact role. I think this is this has to be a collection dump because. Oh my gosh, that's the second. What is it? An another 1956 Denver. That's amazing. There's there's the one right there. There's a second one. That's crazy. And I got a 1944 Philadelphia. That's awesome. 
All right, I see what I think is a Canadian in here. Where is that? Okay. Yep, sure is. Let's add it to the collection over here. There we go. So I found four, nine so far. Those ones right there are mostly um, 98 to 2000 and different things like that. So I can look at them later to see if I can find any varieties. But okay. I was just looking through all of these coins and I was thinking, man, I haven't found one in a while. And then I found this. 1957 Denver. Another amazing coin. Let's focus on that. That is number two of the box, 1959. Oh no, that's 57. Okay. I wasn't going to show this one because it's just Canadian. I like finding Canadians, but I'm in Ohio, so I find Canadians a lot. Uh, usually about six or seven, maybe even ten in a box. But I also found... Look at that. Let's see what it is. It's a 1953 Denver see if that's a it's not but that's really really cool this one right here has been the most amount of finds I've found in a while is it 44 okay nice I always love finding these uh, centennial I think it is the bird Canadians and then Canadian pennies, obviously. And then I found a pretty new 2005 Canadian penny in this one roll that I just dumped. So I just dumped this one right here. And I found another wheat penny. Oops. <laughs> 1953D, and I think this one might be, it is, it is a 1956D, that is amazing looking. That is what, the third one? Third brand new looking penny. All right, this is wheat set number three from this roll. It's 1946 Philadelphia. That's amazing. I can't believe I found three in one roll. I was looking as I was dumping and I saw at least two, three Canadians. Let's see. There's one, 1969, there's another one, 1976, right up on top here is another one, 1964, Nineteen sixty-eight. Oh, wow. Whoops. That's an older one. 1950. There's another one. <laughs> 1964. And my favorite thing to find out, out of those are the bird scent. Okay, there's another one. 1959, Young Head. 
This is crazy. There's another King George. 1948. Looks like there's another one. Nope, that's... <laughs> I was looking through the viewfinder. Is that it? I think that's it. That's insane. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine! I usually find nine in an entire box. <laughs> oh, wait, no, there's another one right there. Ten. 1964. Ten in one roll. That's crazy. I found another wheat penny. It's in 1957 Denver. And... No way. I was looking at this one. I didn't even see that one. Let's see what it is. 1956 D and a 1956. I think no. That's crazy. I think what's happening is somebody had an amazing collection. It's 1957 D. An amazing collection of wheat pennies and Somebody went in there, there's another one. Somebody went, maybe they gave it up to their grandson and they just said, hey, there's a bunch of pennies, let's roll them up and give them to the bank. Another 1957D. That is an amazing, amazing condition. Let's see, no, we found another one. Nineteen fifty seven D. What's this one? Nineteen seventy three. That's pretty good. Pretty good shape. Let's see if we can find any other ones. There's another one. Oh my gosh. I've never found this many in a in a roll before. Nineteen forty eight Denver. That is amazing. Seriously? This is insane! Oh my gosh. 1957D. And a final one. Final Wheat Penny. 1954D. Wow. Nine Wheat Pennies in one roll. All right, I just uh, laid this one out, and look what I found. That one, and there's a weird one right here. Let's see if I can focus on those little ridges right there. Yep. Okay, let's get let's get the the weird one first. Okay, another nineteen forty six. Six Canadian and da, 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 a 1946 D wheat penny. That's awesome. So I wasn't going to film because I found that because I've been finding, I think that's my third or fourth one. But I was holding I was holding it in my hand. 1952 Denver. There we go. That's better. That's awesome. All right. I rolled, dumped some out, and I found one. Found a wheat penny. Nineteen fifty-two, and young head, Canadian. 1964 that's awesome I'll let you know if I find anything else so I just found this 1972 it looks a little bit off a bit which is pretty cool alright I found a 1981 Canadian 
And then right here is a 1946 Wheat Penny. Where did it go? There it is, right there. 1974. Alright, so I just opened it and see some stuff that's different. These two right here. And where's the other one? There's another one in here. Oh, yeah. Down there. Look at him. Where'd they go? Nineteen seventy nine, nineteen ninety six. All right, so there was five total in that uh, roll right there. Look at this huge pile of Canadians. That's insane. I got to look through them all and. Uh, put them up by year like I did up here with my crazy finds over here. Alright, I got another King George from 1949, uh, 1993, and a 1969 Canadian. And then I have another Wheat Penny. 1958 Denver. Awesome. All right. So I see a Canadian right here. 1985, but look what's back right there. Nineteen forty-five. Nice. I just tried to dump it out really nice and neat. But it didn't work, and I found two wheat pennies back to back. Yeah, 1941, Denver. Awesome. And... Another 1956D. That's awesome. I'll let you know if I find anything else. This is my third wheat penny of the hunt. 1944D. So, since there's three and I only went through like two of them here, I'm going to... See what if I can find it. There's another one. Nineteen fifty six D for Denver, and that is incredible shape again. Let's see what else we can find. I found another one. 1957D. That's five for this roll. Nineteen thirty six Philly. 
that is really, really cool. That makes number six. Where'd I go? There we go. Fifty-six. There we go. We got another wheat penny. Makes number seven of the roll. Nineteen fifty-six D. We also found a Canadian. Nineteen eighty-seven. See what else we can find. What is this? Nineteen fifty-eight. Oh my gosh, it it is. That's awesome. That makes I think eight. How did I miss that one? Nineteen fifty six Denver again. This is amazing. This This is unbelievable. They're looking like they are regular, like modern pennies. Nineteen fifty six D. Oh my gosh. What's this one? 71, okay. I'm just gonna flip them all over. I think that might be it though. Yeah, I think that's it. That's amazing. Can't believe it. Okay, so I was just uh, going through this roll, and there was a bunch of really, really nice 2018 shiny pennies, and I figured this one was too, but it is not. It is a 1956 Denver. Look at that beauty. Not a scratch on it. It's amazing. I'll let you know if I find anything else. I was going through this one and this one popped out at me. Nineteen fifty six Denver. Awesome. I think this is going to be my last roll for the night. And I'll see you in the morning. But it'll be really quick for you. Alright, it has been uh, like five pennies. And I found uh, another wheat cent. 1946. No corrosion in the back, but can't get mad at that, right? That's awesome. Just look at how many wheat pennies I have. Starting with that 1919. It's the next day I've uh, done probably about five more rolls and I finally found my other wheat penny. I haven't seen the date yet. Let's see what it is. 1958 D. Nice. I also found a 1980 Canadian out of this one. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Well, I thought there, there was going to be no more because there's like four more rolls and I didn't find any lately, but I was wrong. 1940. Nice. And I 
thought I might have seen. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't see this one. I saw the one in the back. Oh, my gosh. Here's another really shiny one. 1958D. And a... 1945? Yeah, 1945. Alright, sorry. My, view, my uh, camera lens was really dirty, but I also found a Canadian. 1998. Let's see. I see 1956, and we have, we've got another one. It's 1956. Denver. That's awesome. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Alright, so I got a 19, 19, Denver, yeah, 19, 19, Denver, two 1936s, hang on, let me, I'm gonna, alright, I got that 19, 19, Denver, I got two 1936s, 1940, 1941 D, a 1944 D, two 1945s. All right, so I have that 1919 Denver Wheat Penny. I have a 1930, two 1936 Wheat Pennies. One's from Denver, one's from Denver, one's from Philly. A 1940 Philly wheat penny. A 1941 Denver wheat penny. Two 1944s, one Denver, one Philly. Two 1945s from Philly. Four, four 1946 wheat pennies, one from Denver, the rest from Philly. And 1946 Denver. 1950 Denver. Nineteen fifty two. Two of those, one from Denver, one from Philly. 1953 Denver. Look at that 1954 wheat penny. It's also from Denver, and it is amazing. Now we get to the crazies. There's... Where's my finger? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve wheat pennies from 1956. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wheat pennies from 1957. And five wheat pennies from 1958. And we have the crazy amount of Canadians. A 46, a 48, a 49... 50. All of these ones are um, King George. And then we have the Young Heads. Queen Elizabeth. So we have 58. No, is that 56? That's a 53. 57. 59. All these are Canadian pennies. Sixty one, five sixty fours, three sixty seven birds. So those are the 
centennials, 368s, 69, a 70, 374s, 376s, a 77, <laughs> a 79, two 80s, an 81, an 82, 383s, 384s, an 85, an 87, 389s, a 93, a 96, a 98, 2004, and 2005. And I have a bunch of these 2009 pennies as well, so that's awesome. All these right here are pennies that I have decided to check against my books here, and some of them are just like those 56 pennies, just they're really, really shiny. I got all my copper here, and what's going back to the bank. So I am going through all of these right now with the scope. And I'm looking to see if there are any varieties. Either A and M are touching. It's supposed to be wide. If if there is a... Um, an error. So that's basically what I'm doing. Hopefully I can find something. Alright, I went through all of these and I did not find any varieties, unfortunately. What was this one? 1994 P, so double die reverse. No. So I just wanted to show everybody that this is one of the 1957 D that I found. And you can just look at that. See all the details there, it's amazing. There's a little ding in his ear, but that's about it. <laughs> 